Experiences, memories, and excitement in a journey is a catalyst for the next. Historical monuments give a deep realization to the traveler in me. Every journey is a door to freedom. The blue sea, which hears the murmuring of the backwaters, welcomes a traveler. The Bay of Dreams. The union of past, present, and future of time. Here, we could see the influence of Western culture, especially a blend with the Portugal culture. Maybe it was the city where Kerala's development dream has started to flourish. Time has passed, yet Fort Kochi has its own existence. My steps are into St. Francis Church, one among the oldest church which was constructed in 1503. Vasco da Gama visited Kerala thrice. When he died in 1524, the body was buried here in the church. But the most fascinating fact is that Lisbon has taken that body parts to their country after 14 years. Now, the church is protected by our archaeological department. Baston Bangalow, which is very near to the church. Now the official residence of Sub Collector. Baston Bangalow offers a priceless beauty and view of Fort Kochi Beach. If you ever been into there, you can't stop seeing it. My next destination is a Dutch cemetery. This is also the oldest cemetery where the tombs are constructed with red stones and marbles. I can't find even a single cross in this monuments. In the prior tenure, the church was taken care for by CSI. But now, it's under the Archaeology Department. We could leave to Santa Cruz Cathedral Basilica of 1505. The face of the church has been renovated under timely influence. In 1984, Pope John Paul II announced this church as a cathedral. During the Indo-Portuguese colonial period, documents were kept in Bishop House. 
Now it has been shifted to Indo-Portuguese Museum, where visitors are allowed. And it's adjacent to Bishop House. Chinese fishing nets on the bay of Fort Kochi are historical icons. Elegance of Qing Dynasty, the Dutch palace which was gifted to King of Cochin by the Dutch people. Elegance of Qing Dynasty, the Dutch palace which was gifted to King of Cochin by the Dutch people. Pazayanur Bhagavati Temple is situated in the courtyard. This palace is there in World Heritage List. These narrow route directing us towards Jew Street. These shops of handcrafts and aromatic substances are rejuvenating the traveler. I take my steps and reached in the Jewish church of ancient times. Malabar Jews have constructed it in 1567 with the help of Cochin King Rama Varma. This is the oldest Jew church among Commonwealth countries. This is a giant temple which adopted the Gujarat model. Fort Kochi is the minuscule conurbation where diverse cultures, religions, people, food, etc. are united. The stories are never-ending since it's a golden feather in history. Better to see something once than hear about it a thousand times. We are moving, some of us, forever, to seek other places, other lives, other souls.